I wanted to ask you about this uh, cancelled merger with Crown Resorts because I think it's particularly interesting. You, you and your team seat seemed uh, quite convinced on the synergies despite the Bergen inquiry and other issues within the target. Under what conditions would you be willing to engage again with Crown? And, and, and tell me where this stands right now. Yeah, so in May, we put a proposal forward to merge with Crown. And the logic behind the proposal was to create uh, an integrated resort company of a diversity uh, and scale that was able to compete globally once the market opens up again. We still we think that that logic still holds up. Um, what has re what has come to light over the last couple of months through some of the inquiries in Victoria and in uh, WA is probably putting a bit of a question mark behind the value of Crown. And so on that basis, we had to pull the specific proposal that we had put forward. But the underlying logic of creating this, you know, um, global player in the entertainment, hospitality and gaming space still stands up. And um, we'll now observe with some interest um, what comes out of the inquiry over the next few months and then decide what our next step will be. I don't want to speculate about specific conditionality other than signal to you that interest is still there. Okay, so you think you might be able to get some kind of evaluation discount on Crown. What's the timeline looking like? Can you give us any insight into okay. how this bid might progress into the future if you do indeed see some kind of discount at the target? Well, look, um, I'll, I wouldn't say that that's the only possible outcome. There's a whole range of alternative outcomes um, that could be conceived. Um, a lot of it will come down to what the Royal Commissions in Victoria and in WA come up with. The Victorian Commission will report in November. <clears throat> the West Australian Commission will report in March next year. So we have a bit of time to observe the space. Matt, very quickly uh, before we go, sorry, I just want to squeeze one more question in there. Suspension of the dividend, uh, when is that likely to come back for investors or is it all predicated on what happens with COVID? I look, it it's ultimately depends on our earnings. And right now we're shut in Sydney. We have a good liquidity buffer, unlike last year. Um, hopefully we'll get back into um, a position where we can pay dividends. It really depends on you know, us operating in all our properties and earning an appropriate return and reducing the gearing to a level that we and the banks are comfortable with. Right now we're a bit too high. We reported 2.7 times net debt to EBITDA at the full year. Um, we'd like to see that a little bit lower.